Hey guys, Ken here from the Retro Toys Capace channel in Malaysia. Now, I just thought I'd do a status update on the situation with the Space Sumo exclusive on Mattel Creations. It's been 48 hours now since this thing went out for sale and it's still hanging around there, okay? It hasn't hit sellout status just yet. Probably not for quite a while, all right? Because it seems that possibly less people actually give a fuck about owning this guy on a single card. Now, something interesting is the fact that the Space Sumo is no longer on the main Mattel Creations menu page. It's like if you went into the site, he's no longer the star of the page, all right? Just 48 hours ago, he was like the hottest ticket, all right? Like build up as the best possible piece that you could purchase from the website. He had his own countdown clock, the whole deal, all right? The entire Rockstar package. But now, it seems like he's just been chucked straight out of the main menu. You actually have to go deeper into the Moto Collector section. And then you're going to find him in there. He's still in there though, all right? Still available for purchase. Now, normally stuff like this just wouldn't be worth the coverage. But I thought it was interesting to point out that this is one of the first times in a really long time that, you know, probably never, okay, it's never happened prior to this that I've seen a Moto Origins related exclusive a single carded exclusive that's going for probably like the measly price of just $18 in comparison to everything else. Yeah, just $18. $18 is like what you pay for a standard retail figure. Okay, but now they're offering you an exclusive at roughly about the same price. And it's kind of strange to still see it available for purchase more than 48 hours later. Okay, that's never happened before. Okay, everything else has just been like an instant sellout. Camo Khan, like 30 minutes, stuff like that. And there's also been some other guys before that that sold out in like three minutes. But uh, Space Sumo is in a bit of a difficult position, I think. At the same time that all this is going down, he's also available at the Target website for like half price, okay, from its original price. You know, he's offered in this three pack, the Rulers of the Sun three pack with a redecoed pick head and a Sunman with alternate head, this whole set is going for like 50% off. So for just like a couple of bucks more, you could have what is essentially the same Space Sumo figure with a bunch of other guys too as well, you know, in a nice three-pack set. Okay, so it's kind of weird that uh, Mattel decided to also offer a single carded Space Sumo at roughly around the same time. Uh, well, maybe about, you know, give or take a couple of months, but, you know, generally in the vicinity of the same range of time, you know, Space Sumo is being re-offered again. Look, the fact that you're getting another Space Sumo figure just, you know, months apart is just a little bit too soon, okay? However you slice it. Uh, and I think that they underestimated the demand for something like this. Not every character can warrant a double release within just a matter of a few weeks, you know, especially not one as ridiculous looking as a Space Sumo, right? Not even a guy that can single-handedly wrap up both Skeletor and Pig Head the respective top bosses of their own universes, you know. Uh, yeah, not even a guy like that. So uh, apparently there's going to be quite a bunch of this guy hanging around uh, on the site well past Christmas and probably even the New Year's. So I think that, you know, if any of you guys probably have some excess cash lying around after the holidays, you know, it could be a good time to revisit this figure. And like I mentioned in my earlier video from a couple of days ago, I've got zero interest in picking this guy up personally. But I do want that Rulers of the Sun 3-pack, okay, the one that's on clearance right now at Target. But Target apparently only ships to US residential zip codes. So that's pretty fucked up for, you know, fans all across the world who want to take advantage of that particular sale. But you know what? When it comes to this Space Sumo figure, I can't actually figure out, you know, what was the deciding factor or the logic behind wanting to release him as a single card exclusive unless there was a need for every character from Rulers of the Sun to also receive a single card release. And, you know, what would be the best way to actually achieve that? But then again, why even have him offered as part of the tree pack? Unless the tree pack, the reason for it being there was also to reintroduce a new version of Sun Man. Okay, but why not just have that version recarded, you know, for another future release? I think the success rate of another Sun Man exclusive would be a lot higher than another Space Sumo figure. Well, guys, that's the video. That's the status update on the situation with the Space Sumo exclusive. Let me know what you thought of the video. Let me know if you picked up the exclusive in the comment section below. Thanks for joining me as always, and I'll catch you guys again real soon with more content. Take care out there.